Afghanistan have created history and they have gone on to beat Pakistan for the second time in successive T20 matches and as a result have taken a 2-0 lead in the three-match T20I series in Sharjah. Tab Khan led Pakistan team is filled with youngsters who have made great performances at the PSL. However, when it comes to international performances, they are still a very young side. Pakistan are without their stalwarts in Baba Rizwan, Haris Rauf, Fakhar Zaman, Shain Shah Fridi, and this new batch of youngsters are certainly feeling the pressure. After being restricted to 92 for 9 in the first T20I match, Pakistan were aiming to f- make a strong comeback. And Shadab won the toss and once again decided to bat. With the very first over itself, Fazal Haq Farooq struck and dismissed Saim Ayub for a golden duck. Saim Ayub has been a revelation of the PSL. He is being compared to greats like Saeed Anwar. He is a stylish batsman and who has scored a lots of runs in the current edition of the PSL. However, in international matches, he has failed again and again. He was followed soon by Abdullah Shafiq, who was out the very next ball. Shafiq now holds this dubious record of being the only player in history to be out for four consecutive ducks in T20 internationals. Pakistan were reduced to 30 for three inside the power play and in came Imad Wasim to bat. Imad hasn't been selected in the Pakistan team for quite some time under the captaincy of Babar. But since this is a new look team, Imad finally got his chance to perform with the bat and he didn't disappoint. He went on to score an unbeaten 64 with new captain Shadab Khan. Azam Khan once again failed to make an impression and wasted his opportunity. He was plumb LBW to Rashid Khan for one. In his brief stay at the crease, one thing was for sure, Azam wasn't able to pick Rashid. So despite all the success in the PSL on the flash tracks, the new age Pakistan players are yet to perform in the global stage against international teams. Now when Afghanistan came into bat, Ramanullah Gurbaz got the action off to a stupendous start of a beautiful six of Naseem Shah which went for 98 meters and out of the park. Afghanistan started well and were 40 for one inside the first six overs. However, the momentum was lost when Gurbaz got himself run out in the 15th over and Afghanistan were left with 46 runs to get of the last 5 overs. The pitch was slowing down but Pakistan couldn't make use of the conditions. With their relatively inexperienced bowling attack along with an inexperienced captain in Shadab Khan. The turning point in the match turned out to be the 19th over which was bowled by Nasheem Shah in which he conceded two sixes and basically the match was done and dusted there. Muhammad Nabi hit Nasheem for a huge six of the very first delivery and in the last delivery of the over, Nazibullah Zadran hit Nasheem Shah for a six as well. So Zaman Khan was left to defend five runs in the last over and it was a little bit too late. So... Afghanistan managed to secure victory with two balls to go after a misfill by Insanullah in the boundary. The victory means that Afghanistan has managed to secure their first series win over Pakistan. And with one match to go, all lies are on the Pakistan team. Whether they can make a comeback and win one match or at least prevent themselves from getting whitewashed. 
in other news the first edition of the wpl has come to an end and it was mumbai indians who have managed to win it the harman preet kaur led side managed to win it the maiden ipl women's title from the delhi capitals the man of the match was nat shiver for her outstanding innings and like rohit sharma harman preet kaur became the first captain for the mumbai indians to win the women premier league title this is the new addition in the sport and it will surely help develop the women's game for sure meg lanning the most skipper in history had to wait for his her another chance to win the ipl trophy the premier edition of the wpl has been a huge success and it will only get bigger with the days to come the t20 match between west indies and south africa was also on last night and west indies went on to score a world record 250 round eight runs in their 20 overs johnson charles broke christopher henry gill's record for the fastest 100 by an west indian in his innings charles hit 11 sixes and 10 fours over 90% of his runs came in boundaries with in the super sports park in centurion the ground is relatively small but when the match was going on one still felt that south africa had an outside chance of winning the match as well one was reminded of christopher henry gill's great innings in the inaugural t20 world cup when he smashed 100 against south africa but west indies were unable to defend that total the same thing was on display once again as quinton de kock matched johnson charles 100 south africa were off to a rollicking start with quinton de kock and riza hendrix putting on 100 runs in 5.3 overs the west indies bowling attack was taken to the cleaners shadel cockrell giving 29 runs of one over in the first 10 overs itself south africa were 150 for the loss of one wicket dikog brought off his century as well in 44 balls and riza hendrix scored 65 of 23 deliveries and south africa believe it or not were able to pull this chase down and they won it with seven balls to spare one gets demanded of the highest total that australia scored against south africa and south africa managed to chase this down the highest total that australia scored was 433 in 50 overs and south africa managed to score that down following a magnificent 175 by herschel gibbs the same thing happened last night when they went off to score the highest t20 total ever when they chased down 258 with seven balls to spare t20 cricket is the most exciting form of cricket that is out there and with the batsmen getting more and more advantages with the grounds getting more and more smaller the totals are getting out of control there should be a balance between the bat and ball it's great watching when you see balls after balls being dispatched for sixes but someone has to feel for the bowlers as well a pitch like this where you are scoring at almost 10s and 15s for overs it's good viewing no nonetheless but it's not a great advertisement for batting and bowling let me know in the comment section what you feel and if you like the content Please like and subscribe to the channel.